Howdy duty guardians. It is I again here, Birdman, doing stuff and things. Today, we're talking about an updated Titan solar build that I did way back at the start of Lightfall, mainly because the exotic for this setup kind of got an update uh, in Season of the Witch. So we wanted to see, is this better than it was before? Uh, and spoiler, it is different. It is different. I won't tell you how it's different, but it is different. Now, before I go into the video, I know you can like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, become a member, give a super thanks, do all those fun things that I would really appreciate. And also follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Now, let's go right on in to this build video. All right, so with every build video, we like to talk about the exotic that is kind of the, the creme de la creme, the crutch of this, and it's going to be the Path of the Burning Steps exotic legs for Titan. Uh, so these actually got a bit of a change during Season of the Witch. It's part of that one with the, you know, uh, Eternal Warrior, Bees, Doomfang Pauldrons, and the Icefall Mantles. We're actually going to be having a video kind of going all over all four and kind of like ranking them and stuff like that. But for this one specifically, we're obviously just going to be talking about Path of the Burning Steps. Originally, um, it was... Uh, essentially as you were getting kills with solar stuff uh, you would get an increasing uh, boost to your damage but with the change to bullcrap 2.0 and surges and stuff like that um, it kind of got nerfed a little bit and they changed it around and have essentially turned into this uh, solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage and solar grenade final blows grant you the highest bonus uh, you are harder to slow and freeze with stasis, and when you break out, you take no damage from doing so, creating a burst of solar energy around yourself. So, uh, essentially, this is kind of more or less turning it back to what it used to be, but it's just adding in that extra part uh, where getting a solar grenade final blow uh, will give you that highest bonus from the from the jump. So, this is really nice just to, you know, chuck a grenade on the ground, hit an enemy, kill them, and then you immediately have that times for a 25% bonus. So, uh, really juicy. We like it. Um, kind of takes away the need for surge mods, but these are leg ones, so and surge mods are on the legs, so a little bit redundant in a way, but I do think that this is an actual really fun exotic, uh, especially for, with solar weapons. Going into our solar subclass, um, when it comes to the super, that's kind of up to you. I just prefer hammer of soul just because it's a little faster. You can take advantage of sunspots, uh, get a little bit of healing and stuff like that from it. It's enjoyable. Obviously, first two abilities don't really matter. You can do whatever you want. When it comes to your melee, I definitely recommend using the throwing hammer because you actually uh, get cure whenever you pick it up. And it's just nice to throw a hammer around and be kind of like a fire thrower, you know. Um, when it comes to the grenade, I like to use the thermite grenade because I really like the linear path uh, line that it does. It's really nice for like boxing out enemies or just hitting a bunch of them in a row together. Obviously, this is going to help add on to Scorch and Ignition that we're going to be taking advantage of with this setup. When it comes to our aspects, I recommend using Soul Invictus and taking advantage of those Sunspots. Solar Ability Final Blows, Hammer Soul Impacts, and Defeating Scorched Targets create Sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster and your super drains more slowly. While standing a Sunspot, Sunspots apply Scorch and deal damage to targets inside. Uh, entering a sunspot applies restoration. So essentially, this is just going to ensure that you're going to stay healthy uh, with this setup as long as you are getting uh, those sunspots. All you have to do is just get a solar kill, throw a hammer, hit somebody, uh, kill them, and then, you know, enjoy the free health. Roaring Flames is going to be the second aspect I recommend. Final blows with solar abilities or ignitions increases the damage of your solar abilities stacks three times. So this is really nice for, you know, getting a little bit of extra juice out of your hammer, your grenade, or even even your super obviously you can go down to consecration if you want if you were to take something out i'd probably say roaring flames would be the one uh and taking advantage of those like you know big explosions and stuff like that but this feels like something that you kind of have to like build into and focus on and um, roaring flames and soul invictus are kind of like turn off your brain and just play the game fragment wise we're going to be using ember of ashes you apply more scorch jacks to targets uh if you don't know what scorch is by now uh, the target is Singed and Destructive Solar Light, uh, taking damage over time. Scorched damage increases as this target accumulates more Scorched stacks. And uh, after a certain amount of time, they will actually ignite. And then Ignition essentially is just a large explosion after they've received so much Scorch and will also stun Unstoppable. So this will ensure, again, that you're able to get those higher Scorched stacks. This is nice, especially against, you know, enemies that are maybe like yellow bars or something like that. So they're able to take a little bit extra damage. 
Uh, and then again, obviously just hitting those ignites. Ember of Char, your solar ignition spreads scorch. Again, this is just nice for the fact that if one enemy blows up, everyone around them is gonna get a scorch and then restart that process. Ember of Eruption, your solar ignitions have increased area of effect. So bigger boom, I am a big fan of big booms. Big booms, we, all my homies like big booms, wink. And then finally, Ember of Solace, uh, Radiant Restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. So obviously we're using a lot of these sunspots and stuff like that. This is gonna be nice for ensuring that we're gonna get a little bit more out of it. Now, typically I say just focus on the one exotic weapon that I talk about in the build, but I will say I do think that uh, for this specific build, a shotgun with one, two punch on it would be very advantageous for you to do. Uh, one I have is one small step that goes up in the primary slot. You're able to get it from the moon mission stuff. Mine's got auto loading and one, two punch. So really nice just to pull it out, get one shotgun blast on an enemy and then throw my hammer for some extra damage. I can put it away, get that auto loading effect from it. Uh, but obviously with this setup, the creme de la creme is going to be our sunshot. Now, Sunshot was originally introduced at the start of the Red War, a beginning of D2 in general, and has always been, I think, kind of like a crowd favorite for a lot of people. And with the most recent update, uh, Hand Cannons actually got a bit of a buff in PvE. So Sunshot is even better than it was before. Obviously, the intrinsic straight is Sunburn. This weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from the Sunshot. So that's really nice. But the Sun Blast trait is the one that's really nice. Targets killed with Sunshot explode in solar energy. So adding on to all that ignition and stuff that we're already doing with the build, big booms, we like big booms. Now, when it comes to the armor uh, that you're going to be using and all the mods and stuff like that for the helmet, I recommend going with Solar Siphon. Uh, you're gonna be getting a lot of solar kills with your Sunshot, so take advantage of that. Hands on for bonus super energy when you get those melee kills and Ash to Assets, exact same thing again. Now, I will say you probably could change these two out since we're not really focusing into our super. With this setup, you can go into some of this kinetic targeting uh, if you want, but you know, this is, uh, the helmet is kind of like the odd spot. You really just need that solar siphon and the rest is up to you. On our gauntlets, I recommend going with impact induction damage with your melee, since we're constantly throwing that hammer around, is going to reduce the cooldown of our grenade. So kind of it's like helping each other out, and especially the fact that you're able to pick up your hammer. Uh, you don't really have to worry about it getting like low charge or anything like that. Uh, just make sure you don't chuck it across the map like I do pretty consistently. Next will be solar loader. So we're getting a little bit extra reload speed on our sunshot. And then finally the heavy handed, uh, your powered melee final blows create an orb of power. So essentially just ensuring we're able to get a few more orbs out of this uh, setup. It's not too bad. On our chest piece, I always just say go double dampener and then like, the rest is kind of up to you. Uh, I decided to just go with this harmonic resistance just so that I was able to free up a spot so I could throw on a recovery mod, uh, kind of boost that up. On the path of the burning steps, uh, again, I typically say this is my, my setup for, for most legs, uh, but it's going to be absolution, two of those, so that we're getting that extra ability cooldown whenever we pick up an orb of power, and then one for recuperation so we can take extra advantage of health gained from our orbs of power and then finally on our titan mark we're going to be using devil distribution so that whenever we activate our uh banner around people we're able to get a bit of a cooldown and then also powerful attraction to grab all those orbs uh, around us when we do that like i've been saying in every video so far when it comes to the artifact that's kind of up to you unfortunately this season not a whole lot going into like build crafting it's mainly just involved around these you know elemental orbs that you can pick up and throw and uh, cause different effects obviously you can go with the solar one and get some extra scorches from it but i, I just don't really want to add on anything that's just gonna you know eventually go away uh, I would really rather focus on the build itself and not a random niche interaction. If I had to change out anything with this setup, I probably would definitely keep the Path of the Burning Steps just for the extra juice, uh, but I would probably put on our Prometheus lens. I'm a big, big fan of trace rifles in Destiny 2. Uh, I think the Prometheus lens is a perfect one just for the fact that it's uh, intrinsic trait fires a solar trace beam that creates a field of heat energy that grows as the weapon is fire sustained damage applies scorch to targets so obviously we're taking advantage of the scorch there 
and then finally the flame refraction kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine from reserves extending the beam's duration so this one's just really nice in general just because again i i'm just a big stan for for trace rifles and uh this one's gonna help us out with the scorch that we want to apply constantly and also at the same time uh as we kill enemies we don't have to really reload thanks so much for watching this video everyone i hope you really enjoyed it again as always give a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below something you are interested in seeing uh, i'm going to be trying to be better about adding dim links into this so make sure you're clicking on that down below uh, and honestly i just hope it's a, a solid one for you all thank you so much for supporting it's good to be back and uh doing a little bit more destiny stuff and hopefully we're able to continue this and keep it going uh, in the future but until then uh again you can follow me over on youtube and twitter at birdman778 thank you so much everybody hope you have a great night day whatever it may be